and welcome to another episode of Sürrels Brettspiele. And today we have another special. This package arrived today and it is from Peter. Peter has an Etsy shop. I will show you later what it is. But now let's open it. I'm very, very, very interested in to see what he sent me. So we already discussed a little bit. Oh, it's heavy to get it on with one hand. Probably I make a shortcut. We already discussed what I, there should be in it, but I'm pretty curious to see what's in there. Oh, he's putting that in some paper. So let's take a look. Ah, oh, there's more in it. <laughs> oh, take a look. So I think that's it. Maybe, maybe not. I think I need another cutter for that. So, ah, take a look here. Yeah, he has some text on it. Huh. But anyway, I think it's more important to you for you to see what's actually in there. So here are a couple of accrual things. So he's giving this cleaning instructions so that you know how to clean your acrylic products and there are the first ones they have all stickers on it to protect them and not make making scratches into it and here that's it yeah, it's pretty tough to see what it is from here but i will unpack all of that and then show it to you what is inside so welcome back i wanted to show you now how the product works for Great Western Trail. I'm sitting on this side here of the table and show you how you prepare that. This one is how it comes. So it comes with this um, protection foil and you may be mentioned this little dots here. So this dot is how it works. You push that gently in one direction like this here. Why? To get this Usually it should work, however, in this case it does not work. Anyway, to uh, get the foil off. The foil is simply paper and it's sticky on it so it glues and then you can peel it off. Be a little bit careful, uh, first of all, to not destroy the product. So try to put it on a, a surface, on a, a table or whatever you prefer. And also be careful with your hands, so I don't have any plastic gloves. The convention, um, the, the company uh, recommended some plastic glove. However, I'm usually using this uh, pieces here. So, and then you simply peel everything off. So it's a little bit sticky as you can see here on some areas. So try not to touch it as much as possible. So in this case, try simply not to touch it. So the ground of this one here is perfect. You don't have to take a look at any orientation or whatnot. So you simply take the uh, and lift this up again. And again, it broke for me. However, it uh, lifted the foil enough so that you can easily bring it down here. So this acrylic is very, very, very nice. However, it's a little bit of fragile, so be careful that you not destroy your new component. Now take your uh, cloth or whatever you are using for to just protect it from fingerprints. It would be a shame if you bring fingerprints in it. Now, when you peel off the whole foil, and unfortunately it does doesn't work here so you can always use your fingernails for it. Next what you are doing is you are taking this overlay here. So you put this to the side here just for a second. I will do so and now you put off the foil from here. You might be wondering where this little tiny dot is here again. It's here again. You easily can try to lift it in any direction. Oh I broke up both of them so what a shame however it is just a little helper to get this done and off however you can do it like I do with or without keep in mind especially for this one put a cloth on here to push it down that you are not lifted it too much that's a this is a little bit of tricky why I mean that has a lot of uh, sh parts that are here 
not as big as the other ones so make sure that you are not breaking it and whenever you wanted to touch the acrylic please try to use a cleaning uh, cloth or whatever to not make too much fingerprints on it if possible I and mean, you don't have to but that's how you should do it okay as you can see it peels off okay oh by the way I forgot to pop out this one here you have to pop out this one here first and I forgot it here this one we use that later on so now the foil is off for this too. Now I have two more parts to show you. That is this tiny little one and this one with the two dots. Also proceed as I showed you. So just gently push it down here. And now you can see with this little piece it really works perfect here. So try to keep that on the sides and not touch on it. Just again to avoid fingerprints. So so now I put out all of them and I'm coming back to my original uh, acrylic board. This board, the bottom part here, doesn't have to have uh, be oriented as you, uh, you ca it can be oriented in any direction. Now you take this one here and you may see there is a long side, it's like a T. Uh, a short side and a long side and you simply take the short side and pop that in. Has have you heard it? It pops in. All of that. Put that on the table so that these pieces are not breaking when you do so. And then simply put in. Especially the surf, the uh, ground part, the bottom part should not breaking. So therefore, put it on the table. Uh, put a cloth under if you want. You don't have to, or a mat or whatever. Um, and uh, simply pop it in. If it's not popping in immediately as here for me right now then simply either try a different one or just check that's correctly orientated. Usually it is that it's not angled correctly. However, it should not be as complicated as so, huh? that doesn't work as well. You can try it the other way. It all it, usually it is that oh you heard it. So now lift it up and try to pop it in completely again here so that you have all of that in here. It should be fitting in perfectly so just simply pop it in and make it tight. So now all of that should be in. Make sure when you use your fingers that you push it in gently and not too hard. So now I'm taking the red uh, cowboys here and now this should in perfectly fit. Let's double check it. So just put it in and push it in that this fits in perfectly. So it is in perfectly. Now what you're doing next is you take this one and orient that. Uh, you see here in the bottom part there is a little bit of text. So flip it that you can read it. It should say boardgamerboost.com. So simply put it like this in here. And now the only thing that you have to do is snap it in here gently. It should be easy as you hear it snaps in easily. And make sure that all the six pops in easily. So, uh, yeah. Always use every single side and do it again and again and again. And now this product is almost done. What we are doing now is, and next, and I try to lift that up a little bit so it has a better angle for you. Give me a second. I push one more tile under so now you can see it perfectly so now let's take a look at the features what you're doing is here the discs fit perfectly in here it's also coming out easily because there's a hole from this side also the workers fit in here perfectly however you may know that these discs are going in here 
and there's also a cube but both of them fits in here so the disc is a little bit uh, leveled up and also for here you put in these tiles here and then you need this tile to uh, frame it and also this as you can see fits in perfectly now you can play your favorite game board game uh, uh, great western trail and as you can see i lift it up just by can you see that here maybe i should zoom out a little bit zoom out so it's this side that i lifted it up and it's still in shape that was just red now i'm finishing all the other ones and we'll be back for you when everything is done to show you the final product a couple of things i want to mention so uh, is first of all when you do work by, like this be always extremely gentle and careful i know that because i'm usually not so and i wanted to rush through all of them but take your time prepare yourself so make sure you have a clean surface or a thing that is not really making scratches on it so try to not have it right on a table on wood put a cloth under or whatever so that you don't get scratches in it when it moves around second of all try to have clean hands use uh, plastic gloves or use one of these anti-static um, cloth things to make it then take your time even if that comes not out perfectly try it from this side or flip it around and from the other side push gentle push on the sides so you get a feeling for when it pops out listen turn out the music don't have the music too loud so listen so you can hear when something cracks usually especially this acrylic has a little bit of flexibility so you hear when something happens um, again take your time and don't get frustrated when this um, foil doesn't get off too perfect in the first sense so when you pop out these little t uh, angles here and it breaks off and you can always use your fingernails to peel it off so there is nothing wrong with when something not happens on the first time but never ever push it too hard and try to break it in then you probably will end up with a broken uh, thing now let's take a last look at this and therefore I'm coming around the camera so this is now how I will uh, put my uh, complete great western trail into the box you have now all of these I put my acrylic in here just to show it to you here there's a little acrylic display I put it's, it's really hard to see on the camera I put it in here so it's safe and uh, you can also put that into this little bag, but then I'm a little bit of afraid that it could get damaged in there. So I'm putting all of that here. I wanted to mention one other thing. Um, there are also uh, inserts in it or overlays insert, uh, uh, on the market from BoardGameBoost.com as well that are only the overlays. So you don't have the bottom part this part here is it really worth it in my opinion not you save three or four bucks for only half the top and not the bottom it helps you to not shake down the cubes when you um, push the table but this one is a permanent solution what you are doing right now is you take your box i know you see all this moving around pieces and again you should be prepared i should be prepared for this and now you store them in here it gets a little bit heavier of course the whole box but it's strong enough now you put everything in there and you have a, a lifetime solution for that it is so perfect it is the best thing you can do with your great western trail and now my version of great western trail is probably i would say the world greatest version uh, what's next i think we are going next to maybe battlestar galactica or to terraforming mars let's see as promised i'm back with battlestar galactica and of course with the boardgameboost.com pieces so first of all let's take a look what's usually in the box you have this 
um, standees here. They are just cardboard tokens and usually you use this plastic standees. They are not bad. They are actually really good for standee. They are far more crappier on the market so far. And also you have this cardboard round tracks and these nuke tokens. However, they are not perfectly. I mean, you would put this here in like this and then you have your standee here. It would look on the table like this. Two little things to mention. First of all, you destroy your cardboard here by pushing that always in. However, it doesn't look really sexy so far, in my opinion. Therefore, this uh, board game boost solution is here. What you are doing is you are taking your character, slide them in here. I already prepared all of them. So, and then put one of these on top. Can you see it? No, you cannot. Just because of the angle of the camera. It's a little bit tricky with one hand and the camera in hand. So, but it works as you can see. And now you have this cool standy here. Blue as a surrounded because of course I'm a good one. I'm a crew member and not a Cylon. Of course not. So, and now you see this acrylic standy here. Doesn't it look cool? You also have these markers here to indicate what you are right now. And you simply slip that over here. Ship. And now you know your rule. That could be also this one here. Or later on if you're a Cylon, of course, then you're a Cylon. Usually you're not collecting all of them. You put only one on top. Again. What is happening with this one here, with this disc, when you're flying out, you then simply put on this one here. And now it shows that you are in the spaceship. And to uh, uh, identify that this is a pilot, simply put the pilot ring over it. There's one more thing. These are the nuke tokens here. The usual nuke tokens are this, but they doesn't look sexy. Therefore, there are acrylic tokens in it. That's as a free add-on. What you have is you have one, two, three, four, five, six blue and two red. And here is the frames for it. And you have one of a spare tile if you, for an example, break something. And now what you're doing is you prepare your character. Let's put off the yellow one and this one as well off here. Now what you're doing is you're preparing your character. Bring that character in. And when you are done, simply lift it off here and bring your character out that's it and now you can safely store it when you are a, a trader so a silent what else can happen you simply put in this in your red frame and from now on everybody knows you are it was one hand it's Pretty tricky, sorry for that. From now on, give me a second. From now on, everybody knows you are a silent because simply you are red. Yeah, that's from BoardGameBoost.com, the cool standees, the frames for Battlestar. Galactica the board game from Fantasy Flight Games. This is what you get instead of these usual standees. In my opinion that boosts your game from gr a great game to an awesome game. A once in a lifetime experience. So I know you are waiting for Terraforming Mars. Uh, however, mm, this uh, is already a 20 minute episode so far. And I would say I will make a cut here and this episode here and will upload the Terraforming Mars in a different episode. Until then, my name is Niels from Sirens Brettspiele. I hope you had a lot of fun with this accessories, with this gaming gear here from Board Game Boost. And yeah, see you next time, either for Terraforming Mars or in a nutshell or whatever for any other episode here on Zürich's Brettspiele. Bye bye.